Welcome to the first video in this introductory series on how to use Substance 3D Modeler. Modeler allows you to switch between VR and desktop mode, and this series focuses on desktop. If you're only interested in VR usage, please see the VR-focused intro series. This video covers basic navigation, UI panels, and basic preference settings. A quick note that Modeler is actively being updated and expanded. The version shown in this video series might look slightly different from the version you're using, but functionality should remain the same. When you start up Modeler, you'll have an empty scene. Here in the middle is the gizmo of the clay tool, centered over the scene origin, shown here with this dotted plus. Basic camera controls are done while the Alt button is held. Alt left mouse to rotate, Alt middle mouse to pan, and Alt right mouse to zoom. Alt and mouse scroll wheel also work to zoom. Camera movement will be based off the center of the gizmo if there is no clay placed. To help with showing scene navigation, you can place a small piece of clay here using the spacebar, and dragging the gizmo handle to the side. With clay in the scene, the last spot on a surface that was hovered will be what the camera moves around. So to rotate around a spot, hover that spot when using the Alt left mouse. To frame the scene, press the F key. Useful for any time you're too zoomed in or out of your scene and want to quickly recenter. Modeler has intentionally fairly minimal UI. The tool palette is always accessible in the top left. You'll see your tools on the left, tool settings in the middle. If you right click anywhere in the scene, you get the actions menu, which has several layer actions, property settings, and visibility settings, often context sensitive. Click anywhere outside to close it. The color picker is always accessible in the top right, and this bottom bar is located at the bottom of the screen with scene navigation on the left and quick actions on the right. If you want to switch to a left-handed setup, the Preferences menu is located here in the Edit dropdown. It can also be brought up with Control-K. From there, you can change left-handed settings for desktop under Desktop and toggle it here. The UI positioning will flip on the desktop. So for example, the tool palette is off to the right, with tools being on the far right, the Actions menu will try to show up to the other side of your mouse, and the Color Picker will be on the left. Everything being shown in this series will be from a right-handed setup, so if you're using this left-handed layout, just keep in mind that the location of some UI will be flipped. All your saving and loading options are found here in the File dropdown. Modeler saves out files in the SMOD format. By default, they're saved in your Saves folder of your Adobe Substance 3D Modeler directory, but they can also be saved elsewhere. Modeler has autosave on by default. If Modeler crashes, you can try to load the autosaved file found in your saves folder in autosave. If you're working on a large file, your autosave will also be large, so if that isn't something you want, you can toggle it off in the preferences menu found here. And that will wrap up part one in this series on using Modeler on desktop. Next up, in part two, we'll be covering the basic sculpting tools, clay, erase, smooth, and warp, along with some tool and placement settings.